Hey everyone. Now I recently got a question in regards to something that's often seen in my videos, which is this switch here. And the question was, why have I got so much wired ethernet stuff here in a house that's obviously got Wi-Fi, like I've got enterprise grade Wi-Fi here, so why have I got a 48 port switch here full of ethernet cables? Well in this video I'm gonna show you, I'll give you a bit of a tour. Now, first of all, one of the main reasons, before I even show what's what, is that it's a PoE switch, so power over ethernet. So I've got a lot of things like cameras, the access points, and Raspberry Pis that are powered from PoE, and that comes from there. So obviously I use them primarily for that, well not primarily, but for them, that's why I've got them plugged in. But I'll go through and show you what I've got hooked up to this thing. Okay, now before you ask, it's an Aruba 6300 switch. So there's the switch there. Now above here I've got my router, which has six ports. So rather than just a WAN and a LAN, like this was my old one here that had two ports, which is now a web server, I've got six ports. So I've got a WAN port going into one of them, a LAN port going into another, but I've got stuff like a lab set up and a, a guest set up to use their own eth ethernet uh, adapter there. So each adapter only has a gig bandwidth. No matter how many VLANs you put on, you've still got the maximum physical bandwidth. So for the hell of it, I just put a, a device in here that has more interfaces. So that uses a chunk of these up here. Now starting at the start, I've got a whole bunch of cameras which are all PoE, and I've got like nine of them, so there's a fair chunk taken straight away. So outside I've got one camera here, another one here, basically to cover all the entrances to the house. And while I'm out here, here's one of the APs that I put up, did a recent video on that. So there's another one coming from the switch. Now that's my main core switch up there in the garage, which runs all the time, but over in the other corner, I've got like a working rack here that I muck around with and do lab type stuff. So on the wall over here, I've got four coming out from the switch, one of them goes up to the server, and you know, the rest just do whatever I'm doing. So I've got a lab set up here doing something with the extreme switches, and that explains another four. So if I'm doing something like provisioning 20 APs or something, what I'll do is I'll just run up one of those switches down there, which hangs off that switch, and just plug them all in down here and do my working stuff over here. Generally, I don't touch that switch up there. While I'm in the garage, I've got this workbench computer that's hooked up as well. So I've got another outlet up the back here, but as it stands, that's running off Wi-Fi at the moment because I've got a Raspberry Pi plugged in with one of those PoE splitters. But this is where I actually do my video editing out here. And for that, I plug it in because the, the, the speed's quicker. So it's much easier to edit video over a wired connection than a wireless one. But other, other than that, for general stuff, the wireless is fine and I've just got another outlet. So I could do with two here, but I've only got one. Now this is my main computer desk that you've all obviously seen. And this is where I do most of my work. So if I'm doing something serious, this is where I do it. And it just makes sense to have a wired connection because this doesn't move. It's not like I need mobility, it sits at the desk all the time. But because this is a hobbyist kind of room where I do lots of stuff, I ran four network cables in here, similar to like the server rack in the garage. So down the bottom here behind the plant, I've got four outlets there that you can see. And at the moment I've got a couple of Raspberry Pis doing something that I was doing. So that's why I've got that there. So I've got an extra couple of ports for things that I might be doing. Now in this room, I've got an old Raspberry Pi here I use for just old classic games. So if you can see it back there, Raspberry Pi, and it's powered from, turn that, turn that down. Uh, Raspberry Pi powered from the uh, PoE splitter for, you know, some old classic games that just let me escape the world now and again. Now there's actually two outlets in here behind the bed, it's now just a bed sitting here, but in old videos I had a desk in here at one stage, because you know, you move stuff around. So there's two outlets behind there, one of them's in use for that. So there's two more. Now I've got this other room here with not much in it. It was once a bedroom, but anyway, I've got a TV on the wall and you can see, hopefully, there's a network connection up here. I won't focus, but you get the idea. Focus. There's a network connection up there and an antenna just going to a Raspberry Pi when it's there to run Kodi for the TV. Now in the bedroom, I've got TV on the wall and same kind of thing. I've got a Raspberry Pi here with a PoE splitter. So again, I'm using PoE to power that thing. And just Kodi running there with, apparently the gods must be crazy. And what I've got down here is I've also got another couple because at some point this was a computer room slash music room. So I had a desk sitting right there where that is. So I had a couple there, uh, but now it just runs the Raspberry Pi up the top here. Right, now in a cupboard full of shit, I've got a couple more up here just in case I want to do something at the moment, not doing anything, but sometimes I have something set up a little more permanent than temporary, but not permanently permanent. And I might just want to slap something up here for a while. So there's a couple more there ready to go. Now this computer is a Windows computer and it's the only Windows machine in this house, but it doesn't have any internet connectivity whatsoever. Its sole purpose in life is for basically two music programs. So this is my, my music computer. So this is where I do some of my musical creations. So underneath the desk, 
it's the usual story, you've got one there, but there was also some existing stuff from the satellite dish when I moved in, so that's kind of stayed there. So there's a TV antenna, network connection, and PowerPoint. Now over in the corner here, I've got a couple more outlets. And the reason is, that's because the desk was, was originally over here where the couch is, but it was blocking the view, so I moved it over there. And there was a TV up there before, which has now moved. So everything's been shuffled around, but having the outlets everywhere makes, you know, gives me options. In fact, there's one above here for the projector where I've got another Raspberry Pi running Kodi, so there's another one. Now here on the other side of that wall is the TV that was, until two days ago, around the other side. So what I've got here is a network outlet, but I'm not actually using it at the moment. I've got this little computer here with a Wi-Fi adapter. Now that's fine, but if I put that computer up behind the TV, you can see I haven't finished this yet, I might as well use the wired connection because it's never going to move. However, this computer doesn't do anything intensive. It's just for you know, poking around on the internet, really. So I might still keep the Wi-Fi adapter for this and you know, just leave that outlet handy for something else that might use it better if I'm doing something out here one day. Who knows? Now, the most bandwidth intensive thing that this computer would probably do is digital radio. Now, the way I do it is using SDR. So I've got the SDR receivers on the server and that uses about 35 megasecond uh, network bandwidth for this. But the latency isn't important, it, it's one way, so it's not like I have to use a phone call or video that's going both ways, which would work anyway, but it, it handles that fine. So I might just stick with Wi-Fi for this, even though I do have an outlet there. Now I've got another one outside here, so I've got the, the screen outside here, which is sometimes where I, you know, get on the couch and just sort of do work and stuff. And what I've got here is, probably can't see it in the dark here, there's a computer down there basically, just a proper one, not a Raspberry Pi. And up the top somewhere there is another network outlet. So that just powers this thing out here. It's actually a comfortable, nice spot outside, sort of outside here. So I actually get quite a bit done from out here. Also out here is one of the APs for the back end of the house. So there's another one also, of course, running off PoE. Now there's still more Raspberry Pis. I've got one behind the wall here powering this little LCD readout, which shows me power stuff from the power wall. So it just sits there and happily does its thing. It's been a bit cloudy today, but I use that all the time for the live clock and just to have an idea of how much charge is in the battery and just sits there happily and does its thing. I actually got another one of those out here in the garage, just a bit bigger with some more info, but the same thing, it gets its info from the power wall and just displays it. And of course, that's where another one of these goes to, is out the power wall outside because if we can wire it in, it's never gonna move and it just gives it a solid connection. Now these two connections on the end don't really have to be there, it's just from the NBN, which is that box over there, it comes in here, and then it goes up here to go into the WAN side of the router. Now initially, I did it like that, and had this cable just connecting those two directly, and the logic was, I've got the, the router there, the NBN connection, and the web server over here. So I could lose this switch, I could take it offline, or I could be doing an upgrade or whatever, and the web server would still be on, but, you know, I don't do that often, and so I've just run it through here, and these, this is just on their own VLAN here, but I've got this ready to go in case I do need to patch that in an emergency, but really, it's gonna be fine. I prefer to have it all neat like this. Now, to power that, of course, is a Raspberry Pi with the PoE splitter, so again, another PoE interface. And you can see back here where my cables go, they all, from the two patch panels there, they go in and then just go into the wall and head off throughout the house. Okay, so that's where all those blue cables are going. And as you see, I prefer to wire computers in if I can. If they're not mobile, they don't really need Wi-Fi. So that's why I've got it. Primarily for PoE and for solid connections for machines that don't go anywhere. And they're not all in use, as you saw. I've got some spare ports around the place, but it gives me options if I move stuff around. There's usually a port where I need one. So the house is wired up and it's just convenient. So that's why I've got them. And that'll do for now. <laughs> Till next time, take it easy.